hello guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you how you can move all the files folders the data including all your log session file the members that you have scrapped from the old version of the telegram rocket to the new one let's just say we have pushed some new update in the futures and you want to switch from the old one to the new one and this video is going to be helpful for you or let's say you want to switch over from mac computers to windows or from windows to mac and this video is going to be very helpful for you as well so first we're going to open this telegram rocket software and we can see and uh, i label it here right O, which means this one is the previous versions and if you look at closely which is 0 0.1.3 which is the old one because currently we have released 0 0.1.4 and you also will get these pop-up messages informing you that if let's say we have put some new version you're probably gonna going to get these messages as well so in this case you have an option whether you want to upgrade to the new version or remain with the old version as well so uh, i'm going to show you how you can export all the session file which is this one all right for your information session file is created every time you sign in to your telegram account so make sure you do not lose any of the session file because you have trouble signing back to your telegram account again and what we are going to do is we want to export this to the new versions so what we have to do is we go to the file and we click on the export backup and this message pop up means that you want to export this file in the form of compressed file in the form of zip file and we click on ok and you want to select the place where you want this file to be located in this case i will be choosing desktop so you can see it clearly and click on open and the backup has been exported successfully which is on your top right corners right here and we can close this one so this is the session file and we want to move the session file to the new one and we just click on the new and we again the same thing we go to the file and we click on import backup and the when you are importing the session file everything will be all right so we click on yes and we choose the session file which is this one and the data import successfully and you have all your log session file including the member that you have scrapped and all the configuration and the license key as well so this everything is just very simple and self-explanatory so and one more thing is that this session file it actually works both way and if you let's say you have your windows computer and you want to switch from mac to windows just take this file and drag over to your windows computer and click on the import and everything will work like normal and as well as from windows to mac computers all right as you can see this file which i have brought it from the mac computers and everything just pretty straightforward just go to the file and click on the import backup and proceed with yes and choose the file which is located on the desktop and we click on this file and we click open it and everything just worked perfectly fine like this one i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you have any questions down in the comment below if you like the video give it a like and subscribe thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one bye